Why am I in your life? Oh, you are in my life because God put you there and you're supposed to do this journey with me. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah, I think it's been a crazy journey, but I think it's, there's beauty in that. There's been a lot of beauty in yeah. the chaos. Yes. And so much chaos. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of beauty yeah. as well. Describe the moment you first realized I was truly in love with you. <laughs> uh, hmm. I feel like there's been so many moments, not just a moment, um, but I'm a big action person. So um, it was kind of a big deal when after you told me how you felt, X, Y, and Z, we did this long distance relationship for what seemed like an eternity. Um, and against all pressures of family not accepting, church being funny, all the things, you were like, you know, if people don't accept, that's fine. Um, and you came down here for the first time. Um, and I knew like the pressure that was like on your life because everyone was disapproving for some odd reason. Um, but you leaned real hard into that. Um, even if that meant taking a lot of deep breaths along the way, yep. um, you still follow the journey. And for me, I think that was kind of the biggest moment of like, man, okay, yeah, he really, he really does love me. I want to ask that back. Okay. So what was the moment that you knew that I was in love with you? Uh, um, I think it was just the totality of the journey, just you being willing to go on this journey with me, even though I didn't know what I was doing. Didn't really know about love, didn't really know about um, how, how to be that. a husband, all those things, but you still um, stood by me. I knew then that you really were in this. Yeah, I'm in it, friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when do you feel closest to me? Um, I think it's those moments when we're just at home, just having these deep conversations that just pop up out of the random and just really exploring each other. Um, mm -hmm. Those are special. What What about you? What do you, What moment do you feel closest to me? I would say the same. <laughs> we really love the sacred space that we create at home. Yeah. Um, like you said, we go down these rabbit holes. And yeah, I get to hear your heart on a lot of things. Yeah. Um, and that feeds my soul and that feeds our relationship. And so, yeah, those are the moments I feel closest to you. If you can go back and change an experience we had, what would it be and why? I think that I would change when we first found out that I possibly had like PCOS and endometriosis. We, I mean, literally, what, we had been married months. Yeah. Yeah, we had talked about kids and wanting kids and all the things. But that wasn't on our radar. Like, we, not at that moment. Yeah. We wanted to enjoy life and travel and uh, we'll get to it. Like, normal couples get to it at some point. Yeah. I just, I just wish that we had enough. Um. I wish that we could have dealt with it at a later time. What do you find most difficult to talk to me about and why? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe when probably my feelings, that's something that's 
been a struggle, probably our relationship because of my upbringing. That's been a tough thing. Um, I know I've made steps to get better at that. And me doing it more has let me see that you, that you, you care about that stuff and that you, you don't look at me any different. You don't see me as being weak or um, any of those things. And I really appreciate that. Yeah. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you talking to me more and more and more. I want to hear all the things. Yeah. yeah. What do you think is one thing I really want you to understand about me? <laughs> oh, that's a one thing. That you're capable. Um, so many people have counted you out at times. And I think you have been on a quest to, to show that you are capable. I've seen it. And I believe in you. And I think, yeah, I think that's what you've wanted for me to know, that you're capable, that if anyone else didn't believe it, that I believed it, and I do believe it. Um, and I always will. Yeah, I believe. If you could make me do one thing, what would it be and why? I could make you do one thing and why. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um, I would have to say mm, maybe to be more of a sports nerd like me. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I know that's not you, but sometimes I'm like, it, if she could see this is cool, then, I would think you it's, know, great. it's great to you know, watch football and let's both get mad together and then be depressed the rest of the day. That would be okay. cool. <laughs> oh, man. That I can do. That I can do. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, I don't know, jump out of a plane, do something crazy. No, no, I know you probably would do that. I would do it. So, yeah. I would do it. Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing you learn from our worst fight? <laughs> That's good, too. Yeah. The best thing that I've learned from our worst fight is that just no matter <laughs> how loud you say something, <laughs> um, it doesn't it doesn't help the situation. It doesn't change anything, and that's that's something that I've gotten from you. <laughs> just to yes, that's. Let's just breathe. Let's just take a moment um, and have some clarity. There's actually another thing, too. It's not just even just one thing. There's a second thing that I think is just is like equal, um, which is, is that you never necessarily know um, when that particular day may be your last. Yeah. And the fight doesn't supersede my love. And if that was the last thing I said to you, something that was hurtful, something that was not okay, 
I just know that that's something that would haunt me yeah. for the rest of my life. And so at least trying to find some common ground to bring down the volume of the argument um, before we rest has been healthy. Um, and it's something I really feel good about um, that we could get to that place. Yeah. 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 If this were to be our last conversation, what's something you'd never want me to forget? That you're worth it. God thinks you're worth it. I think you're worth it. And it doesn't matter all the people who didn't think you were worth it. And that you belong in any room with any person. And you have things to add. And you have so much value. Um, that's what I would want you to know. And keep with you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to add to that one, too. Um, I wouldn't change a thing. If it had if it had to be it, then it would be. That would be the way I wanted it to be, because it was with you. I would take the time we had over any other time. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah I appreciate that. Mm. You got me a little period. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same. Yeah. 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 Hey there. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the conversation and want to ask these questions to your own partner, check out the And Couples Edition card game at theskindeep.com slash shop.